Let me share 10 tools that every small business owner should be using in 2024. And stay tuned as we explore how they can work seamlessly together to make your business operate faster, smoother, and more profitable. And best of all, free up the one resource in your business that you absolutely need more of, and that is your time. Now, I also wanna mention that all of the tools, software mentioned in this video are paid for by me or my companies. I have not been sponsored by any of them. They have no idea that we're even mentioning them in this video, except for one, which is a company that I'm a director of, a shareholder of, and after watching this video, you'll know why I'm mentioning it and why it's included in this list. Ready? Let's get started. Did you know that the average small business owner spends over 20 hours a week on admin tasks alone? That's half your work week gone, and it could have actually been spent growing your business, not being overwhelmed with emails or managing multiple projects. Today's video is designed to help you understand some really cool pieces of software, some tools to leverage back some of that time. In fact, everything we do here in this channel is all about that. Whether it's hiring virtual assistants, automating tasks, smart hacks designed to improve you or your business or even just your flow. It's all about how to help small or medium business owners grow large, change the world, and along the way, hopefully do it being a good person. And most importantly, do it without hustling. You don't need to always hustle, right? Us as business owners, we seem to be the only people that spend 120 hours a week so that we don't have to spend 40 at a job. It's just mad. And this is actually, believe it or not, the second time that I recorded this video. The first time that I recorded it, it was just like so generic. It was like, use this bit of software or this does this, or it was just boring, right? So I'm having another go at it, this time with a bit of a difference, no script. I'm just gonna share with you what each tool does for me, how you can get value from it, and you can either use it, discard, it, whatever you like, all right? Cool? All right, let's jump into it. The first tool that I'm gonna suggest is ClickUp. Now, we looked for a long period of time about trying to get some project management software. The main thing is there's myself, there's my business partner and my life partner, Laurie, she also works. And she never understood what I was doing in the business. I was just like smashing through stuff and I was just leaving this weight behind me. And she was like, what exactly are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? And I never really understood the importance of working in a team. I've always been a small business owner that's always worked for myself. So it never occurred to me that I actually had to leave clues on other people so that I could actually understand what it was that I was doing. So ClickUp came into our lives, a project management software, and it allows us to think of it almost like the source of truth. ClickUp is the one place where anything that we truly believe in, whether that is our SOPs, and I'll explain a little bit about what they are soon, or it's a little bit about our company structure, our purpose, Purpose, what it is, what's happening with our customers, what are the day-to-day -day tasks that need to be operated. ClickUp handles all of that in one easy place. We found it the easiest place to deal with not only visual stuff, because I'm very visual, so I need to draw on certain things or need uh, mind maps or even what whiteboard charts, and all of that can be found in ClickUp. It's not cheap, I guarantee you, but it is totally worth it, totally worth it, all right? And there is a little bit of a learning curve with this one, so you do need to sort of go through the process Process. There's heaps of tutorials online, heaps of really cool teachers that will teach you how to use it. The best way to do it though, for me, and like most business owners, just pick it up, go for the free trial, test it out, try it out, see if you like it, see if it feels right, and then see if it's time for you to invest a little bit more time, a little bit more energy on learning a new piece of software. The next one I'm gonna mention, and this was really where the first video went horribly wrong, is I started talking about ChatGBT like it was like, piece of software and not the revolution that it actually is. AI has changed the game. To me, is the biggest thing that's happened in business since fire happened to human beings. Like seriously, it's that huge. It's changed everything. We're able to leverage certain things and if used correctly in your business, it can help you immensely. Remember, us here at this channel and, and everything that we do, we try to help business owners reduce the hustle. Well, AI helps us do that. It's like having a set of personal assistants that can help with any subject. Now, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of advice. Now, I know there's heaps of different software out there. There's Leonardo, there's ChatGPT, there's MidJourney, there's all different AIs and everything happening under the sun. It's all happening and new stuff coming all the time. But what I would like to just give you is just a simple prompt on how to use AI that we've found really super effective. And that is just a three-stage prompt. You say, you will act as, 
I will, you will. So really simple, you will act as I will, you will. Let me give you an example. You will act as Tony Robbins. You will speak to me as Tony and you will ask me a series of questions. I will answer each question individually and you will take those answers and over a series of questions, you will build me a business plan based on that scenario, all right? So first of all, we're giving it a directive. You will act as, so we give it a person. I usually give it a human being. I give it some of my mentors, like Tony's been one of them. We're in the Platinum Partnership with Tony. I think he's got an unbelievable business mind. I know he's not everybody's cup of tea, but who is? I know I'm not either. The key with Tony though, is that he's super relatable and there's a lot of stuff online, but ChatGPT can resource all of that information and make sure that it gives me exactly what I want. The next thing I'm going to do is go, I will. So I give it a directive and tell it exactly what I will do in this situation. And then I tell it what it will do. When I use those three things together, you will act as I will, you will, I seem to get the best results. So just try it out. I know there's heaps of stuff online, but just try that one simple prompt out and see it absolutely changed our business life forever. Okay, the next one I'm gonna give you is Google Workspace. Now, Google's been around really long time now, it seems, but the really key part for Google Workspace is how all the different tools all work together. So you've got Drive, you've got things like Calendar, you've got all these different components that all work together. One part we found the other day, which I've never seen before, I highly suggest you check out, is App Scripts and App Sheets. They actually fit into Google Sheets. Unbelievable. We were able to build some really robust little apps for some of our clients in super quick time. One in particular, all around a metrics around blood analysis. So they were able to enter in all this blood analysis. We had a whole bunch of data we had to go through. And with that, we just brought out the spreadsheet, then converted it to an app through app sheets. And the whole thing just worked seamless. Honestly, it was mind blowing to watch it and how quickly we were able to build an app in two days that before then had been tried by many developers and they wouldn't even be able to do it. So highly suggest you check it out. One membership rules them all with Google. You get access to all of the different things. They're obviously moving into the AI space as well. Watch them as they move in. I'm sure they're not gonna let the let themselves go to waste. They have a company motto of wanting to know all of the world's information. They're pretty close to having that already. So for me, I always wanna really invest in companies that I feel are on the move and moving forward, but also aren't going anywhere. I don't wanna have them change halfway through my work cycle. So I know there's a lot of people that don't like certain companies and don't like certain things. This video isn't about that. This is purely from a basis of a business owner, not wanting to have to change halfway through. I don't feel Google's going anywhere anytime soon. The only place they're going is up or sideways at the very worst. So I'm happy to go along for that ride. So I invested in a Google Workspace membership. Next tool I'm gonna to talk about is Canva. Now Canva was actually developed by somebody over in Perth, Australia. So an Australia company that sort of has just taken the world by storm. Before then we had to really deal with really confusing and hard to use software, things like Photoshop. Anyone's ever used any of that stuff, it's fantastic what it can do. But for a layman, like for an average guy or average person, man, it was hard to use, right? So Canva came along and changed the game. They're really stepping into some of the cool things that they can do around AI now. It's one click, you get rid of a background, you can throw an image, you can do thumb titles, the whole bit, everything that we do around design work is all done through Canva. It's incredible how many other little bits and pieces that you can you can stick in there now so you're not just doing social media but it does all of your social media postings directly from there so us as a company we do all of our image posting so anything that happens on Facebook or Instagram anything image related it's done in Canva it's approved through Canva and then we just straight away just schedule it we have all our social link directly to Canva and we fire it off from there it's been an absolute godsend I can't wait to see where it goes in the short-term future I think it's a great great company and it's awesome. So hey, next piece of software I'm gonna suggest is High Peak Pro. And guess what? That's ours. Honestly, it is, think of all the other pieces like different arms of your business that do different things. High Peak Pro is like the engine room. It's like the place where you sit to oversee everything else. It does everything from controlling your social media and all of those different messaging systems. So as in business, we have messages coming in from you know Facebook and Instagram and emails 
calls and messages and SMS and WhatsApp and all around the world. We want one place where we can control all of that and also automate a lot of the tasks. So High Peak Pro stepped into that really, really quickly. The major parts of High Peak Pro that we use it for on our business is what we call the WRAP, the W-R-A-P. Nice and simple. W stands for win back. We always want to win back our customers, make sure that we're adding more value. So it's just got simple automations that we can put in place just to run out and make sure that we're touching base with customers all the time. R is for reputation management. We want to make sure how, you know, Google My Business and all of that thing is all working so that we're getting the reviews and people are getting a chance to review us as a company as we grow independently and move to where we want to be. So, and reputation is really, really important. A, all about automation, right? We want to automate all the mundane tasks. I'm a great creator. I am very creative as a human being, I would say, but you ask me to do the same task every single week, week after week, I will get bored so quickly. And I don't think it's a good use of my time. And I don't think it's a good use of your time. If you're a business owner, you don't want to be wasting your time doing the same thing. So that's why after you've done it several times and you know how it works, then break it down into a simple structure and automate it. That's why you would need a thing like High Peak Pro. And the last one is either promotions or paid ads. We do everything that we need to do all through the system. Think of it, as I say, as an engine room and I can't help it. Give it a wrap. We own it. What did you expect? Okay, next one I am going to suggest is Loom. Now, if you haven't checked out Loom, Loom just came out of nowhere just a little while back. Well, it did for me anyway. And it just sort of took over my life. I Loom everybody now. I read this for Christmas 2023. We actually listened to the audio version. We went for a drive up north here in Australia and we were listening to this book. This is called The E-Myth Revisited. If you haven't read this book as a business owner, please do. Okay, highly, highly recommend it. Changed my world. Seriously, in this book, he was talking about uh, what they call franchise models, right? So trying to build your business into like a franchise model. So being able to break down each individual section, it doesn't matter whether you're ever going to be a franchise. It's not important whether your business ever converts and changes into a franchise. That's irrelevant. What it's about is about being able to break your business down into really simple tasks that anybody could follow. So everything from, hey, this is how we break down our accounting. This is how we do our finances. This is how we find clients. This is how we edit videos. This is how we do, well, it doesn't matter what it is. You break it down into what they call standard operating procedure or SOPs and break that down. It's a simple, easy to use instructions. It sounds easy. I said earlier in this video, I never used it. I never used them. I just never done it before. People would ask me, how would you do that? How did you build that thing? And I would have to restart the entire process again and rebuild it from scratch because I had no instructions. I gave myself no instructions on how to build things. So with me and to work with another team and as the team starts to grow, it was really important. I got the knowledge that was out of my head, put it down in a paper so that we could build some SOPs around it so that we could scale and effectively start to automate, not just my time, but automate the business and actually allow it to work better, get out of its way, right? So along comes Loom, right? All of a sudden, Loom gave me a place where I, as a creative in my business, I was able to just turn on Loom and start filming. In fact, this video, this exact video right now, I'm actually recording this on Loom, believe it or not. And then I will share this link with an editor. They will actually do their bit and the whole process works really, really seamless. And the whole thing is super easy. Not only does Loom do the filming, but it uses AI, it breaks it down into chapters. It, it does a full transcript. I can edit the outsides really, really simple. I can share the link. I can see if somebody's used it. It's just mind blowing. Now I know other companies do do this. In fact, ClickUp actually has a system in place where they do it as well. But Loom for simplicity, Loom for ease of use, it's been a godsend. It's been one of the things that have irked me as a business owner for years. How do I just capture what I'm looking at on the screen and give this information to somebody else so that they can do some magic with it? Check it out. Okay, next one I'm gonna recommend is a topic that most business owners have to deal with, but we either have our own method or madness or whatever it may be, but it's zero. Okay, zero to me is a really cool piece of software made by some Kiwi boys. They done a great job on this. Uh, up until then, I don't know if anyone's as old as me, but you would remember having to use like Myob or QuickBooks or other pieces of software which were housed on your computer and never really did anything. There was all these charts and everything. It was just so confusing. Along 
Sean come zero and they just simplified the whole workspace. Not only do they do that, but one of the things I absolutely love is it allows you to build in rule sets around different types of income spend and different accounts and even your reconciliation around your banks uh, that allow you to just quicken over time. So it's not about being really super fast out of the gate. What it is is that as you build and as you build your rule sets and as you build all of these things into zero over time, it'll get smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter until all you're doing is basically just going tick, okay, 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 done. Hand that to the accountant, do your work, do your little numbers, make sure everything's all good to go. Wow, what a lifesaver. So finance is a big part of business. We have to take money. We have to make sure everything's done right. Here in Australia, there's a bucket load of regulations as we know. So for me, zero, it works with me. Check it out if you haven't used it before, two thumbs up. Okay, next piece of software I'm going to wrap is 11 Labs. Now, we do work everywhere. Now, if you're not working all around the world now in all different time zones, all different currencies, you're doing yourself a disservice. I don't care what it is that you do, find a way to work overseas. It'll not just leverage you, it'll leverage your business, leverages you out globally. And, and trust me, we've had some amazing conferences overseas in Prague, in Europe, in Japan, in the United States, you name it. We've I've spoken on stages all around the world, all purely because we don't find ourselves limited to a small town in Australia. Otherwise, we would be stuck here. Our, our, our beautiful country would be our jailer and I will not have that, right? So 11 Labs allows you to just drop a transcript in and then convert that to any other language. This is really super helpful. It allows us to do courses, training tutorials, all different things in any language. 11 Labs easily, by far, is the best one that I have seen so far. Now, as AI improves, as this technology age just explodes the way it does, we may see a different one come on very soon, but for the time being and for right now, check out 11 Labs, convert all of your videos into whatever language you want. Make sure you check it out and uh, get out there, get amongst it. We'll see you in the airports of the world. Last one I'm going to mention, and this is going to be really weird because I guarantee everybody's already checked this out. You're probably even watching it as we speak. It's YouTube. Now, when I first mentioned I was going to say YouTube, my partner, Laurie, she just said, like, what are you thinking? Like, why are you promoting YouTube? YouTube isn't even that great. I'm like, for me, it is. You know why? Because I can learn anything I want from YouTube. I can learn how to cut videos. I can learn how to make a pizza. I can learn how to trim the edges of my garden. I, anything I want. I have so many cool videos that I have in my own personal little folders. But I'm going to give you a little tip here with YouTube, right? So it's obviously got an algorithm. Every time you're watching videos, you're liking, you're commenting, whatever it is, they're going to put more and more and more of that type of topic in front of you because they know that they're getting your attention. So what I do is I don't actually watch it straight away. In fact, I save it to a playlist. I have a playlist that's private completely for me and it's called a swipe file. And basically what I do in that swipe file is I actually convert it to a different account and I'll watch it with a different account. And the reason I do that is because I just purely don't want, just because I'm convinced or, or want to learn about a certain subject this day, I don't want my entire thing flooded with that. I don't want to break the algorithm of the way that I want YouTube to work for me. So for that, I don't know whether I'm crazy. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, but I do put it all into a swipe file and then I go in and check it out and then go through it bit by bit. I use what I want. I learn what I need to do and then I discard it. Super simple. I learned this from another book. It was actually called Steal Like an Artist. It was one of the craziest books. It allowed you to look at everything with a different view. If you haven't seen that book, you haven't read that book, Steal Like an Artist, check it out. That's a good one as well. This video isn't about books. I don't know why I keep mentioning them, but they do have a big part in my life. So check it out. YouTube for the wins. I love it. So what? All right. So we've given you 10. We've uh, told you 10 pieces of software tools that you should absolutely check out. If you haven't, uh, you know the deal, right? I don't want to say this because I think it's so corny and I hate it every time I watch a video and somebody says it, but we do need support. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you you like it, all that other stuff, you know what to do. You've heard everybody else say it. Should I have to say it? I shouldn't have to say it, but do it anyway. Come on, be a sport. And it does help us. And it helps us understand what sort of content 
if you want. So if you don't like it, tell us in the comments, all right? I'm okay with that. You won't hurt my feelings. Many people have tried. It's all good. So that's us. 10 pieces of software, everything from Loom to Google to all of these little bits and pieces. Zero, obviously, big hats off to the one piece of software that we call our engine room, which is High Peak Pro. It's so good. We bought the company and we absolutely work in it on a day-to-day -day basis to work with businesses to make sure that they can work better, faster, smarter, and do it without the hustle. So if that's you, if you want to automate, you want to just turn your business into overdrive and finally put those, those systems in place so that you can automate a little bit more, free up a little bit more of your time without compromising on profit and reach out to us in some way, some capacity. We'll be happy to help you out. Until then, go and check them all out. You've got 10 more pieces of software to check out. So go and do it right now. Ready? Three, two, one, go.